excuse me. We're live right now looking for some sharks. Again, we have really bad conditions, but uh, I think we have a great white shark here in bad conditions. I'm gonna start doing these live streams straight from the drone now that I've figured out how it works. I hope the quality is good. And we have our first great white shark live on YouTube. Look at this. That is definitely a white shark. His ability is really bad. The wind's about to kick up. Notice how the shark avoids that that sand or sediment that's coming there. It's just a dark shadow. Really hoping the shark comes up so we can get a good view at it. There he goes. He's coming up closer. Let me switch cameras real quick. There we go. And we have a white shark. I cannot see any comments or anything like that when I'm flying the drone. So I'm just going to... Ooh! Went right by that bird. You see that? That's cool. Got some action right away. Speaking of birds, I'm releasing a video this week of uh, just great white sharks and bird interactions. It definitely will be one that you'll want to see. Fly with caution. Looks like I've got a manned aircraft nearby, but I'm only 11 feet off the water, so that's not a concern. The shark is kind of far from me. It's about a mile away. Uh, it looks like it's creeping up to the surface slowly coming up to the surface Fly with there. caution. as you can see the the visibility on the water is really bad today the shark is acting like it Fly wants to come caution. up to the surface but um, just got to be patient we did get those birds in the frame while ago that was pretty cool That's a low flying airplane by me. My goodness. So this is the importance of uh, making sure you're aware all the time. This airplane is just flying by, and I have to say that that plane is probably 50 feet up, and I'm at 12 feet above the water. So that's a very low flying drone uh, airplane. I'm just sorry, I'm not watching the drone right now. I'm watching an airplane that's flying right over me right now. I don't know why these planes do this. Fly 40, 50 feet above the water like that. Wow, that is really, really dangerously low for anybody in that airplane. All right, so back to the shark here. Um, sorry, I gotta keep an eye on this plane. It turns back around at that low angle. It's, it can be dangerous. I'm still on the shark. Looks like the plane is gone. All right, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this shark. Let's see what um, what it does. Now earlier, as soon as we found the shark, you saw it uh, go up to those that bird, and the bird uh, just flew away, which is kind of cool. And normally, observing sharks is a process like this. It just takes a lot of patience. And usually the sharks aren't doing anything too exciting. Hope the connection's stable here. Start to lose the shadow. Maybe. You never know. Maybe he'll breach because they, they need to be a little bit deeper to breach. So you never know. I'm gonna hit record. Sometimes you get lucky and get a really cool, cool shot. This shark is probably a hundred. 120 yards offshore, I'd say. If I lift up, I can probably show you how far from shore he is. The reason I don't want to lift up too much is because I don't want to risk losing him. But I'll go up. I don't have any air traffic. See how camouflaged the shark is? I doubt you can probably see him now. I'm going to go back down. And again, this water is really bad today. I'm guessing the shark is probably around here again. This is why I don't like to lift up when I have a shark in bad conditions. It's so easy to lose. And we have just lost this one. My guess is he'll come up over here somewhere. Probably away from that dark stuff. 
Yep, there he is, right here. Just a guess, but we've got it All right here, coming up. They're avoiding that dirty water, that muddy water. We've had that hanging around lately because of the rains and the runoff. And some really big tides happening right now. Low and high tides are very, they, they, there's a big difference between them. So you get all this sand turned up. Shark's not being too excited. This is normally what it's like. He's gone down deeper. I still see a shadow. But he is, or she, is definitely, looks like it's gone. It's gone down into the depths. So I'm going to lift up. Hopefully, the shark makes another appearance. Let's see. There it is. So they do this rising and lowering in the water column often. Um, now he's going into clear water. I, I believe we may get a good shot at this shark. We might get a very nice visual on it if it can surface a little more. So she's looks like it's coming up. There's something sticking out of the shark. You see that in the back? It's There's a white thing sticking there. It could be a tag. If that's a tag, it's, it's pretty far down. And we've got a big cloud coming through. As you can see, when clouds come, it's our worst enemy for spotting. Change exposure here a little bit. Mm. See how it went down in the water column again? It was last headed this direction, so my guess is... I'll just sit the drone there and wait for her to come up if she continues this up and down pattern. Somewhere in here. Come on up. Just so you know, I'm 100 feet up right now. Just waiting for the shark to come up or make an appearance. Looking for that shadow. When they dive like this, I kind of get excited. Oh, there's birds, so maybe we'll get the shark near a bird. This will be cool. I'll fix my exposure, because if something cool happens, I want to capture it correctly. All right. Where did our shark go? She may have turned back. Let's see. She's all that dirty sediment and water that's over there. The shark is going to be in this area. Always watch the birds. If you see like three or four birds take off once, something disturbed them and that could very well be the shark. So we're just going to sit here and wait. I'm at 61% on the battery. So, plenty of battery to, to wait it out. sun comes out, it is our friend, because we can see those contrasts, we can see the shark much easier. You can see that dark spot there, that first dark spot, that is a, a bait ball, so there's a lot of fish here today. It looks like our shark, that is a big bait ball. You see that big dark area right there? That is a really big bait ball. That explains why there's so many birds are here. Let's see here. No shark. Or is she going to pop up? Sometimes they turn back towards shore, so they do this zigzag pattern back to shore often. I don't need to record right now, there's nothing going on. There's a lot of birds, a lot of fish, there's a lot in the water right now. I'm going to check over here, maybe the shark went back in this direction. If you turn back to shore, we do know that they're not going to go into this dark, this dirty water, this muddy water here. I can 
can only assume that that's not very comfortable on their gills, so that's why they don't go through it. That's the bait ball. Don't have a shark point. Hopefully this gives you an idea of the patience it takes to capture the shots that we capture in my videos. Speaking of videos, make sure you watch on Saturday. I'm going to launch a video of uh, great white sharks and birds and how they interact. It's uh, one of my favorite videos I've made recently. I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's um, packed with tons of great white shark and bird action uh, together, like we saw earlier on this live feed. Right as soon as we went live, we had a shark go up to a bird. It appears like our shark is down deep still. So just waiting it out. Hopefully, it will come back up. I'm going to head this way. Maybe it surprised us and headed, to, headed north. Let's see. You can see all those birds, right? Tons of birds. I'm not seeing a shark anywhere in the park. Switch lenses real quick. There we go. It's a little bit wider. Give me a little bit more of a search search area. Forty-six percent now. So I'm, I'm flying pretty pretty fast through here right now. So you know I'm flying forty-six miles an hour at the moment. Oh, we got a stand-up paddle border here. So. This is right in the area where we saw the shark interact with the bird. And um, so this person is paddle boarding. Let me check inside to see if there's any sharks inside. Again, the sharks really don't like that dirty water. I rarely see them going into that. Uh, but that paddle boarder might, might attract the little the shark to come up and get, be curious. Let's see. Just so you know, I cannot see any comments. If you're commenting or asking questions, I honestly, I can't see them because the, the interface of the drone does not let me see those. And rightfully so, because I have to maintain control of the drone. I keep both visual and um, GPS awareness on the drone at all times. We don't have a shark coming up anywhere. This is, um, what a bummer. We had that shark earlier, and it looks like it just disappeared down into the water column. But pretty cool. We've got the shark interacting with that bird. And in case you're wondering, those dark things there, that's not sharks. That's just seaweed, and kelp, and floating. see big changes in the water temperature like that so you get a lot of kelp that dies because of the big shift in, in water temperature is what I what I can assume because I see it all the time when the water temperatures shift but I'm not seeing any sharks here did another pass going 46 miles an hour there Again, I cannot see any comments. The shark has to be in this vicinity here. It's probably going to come up when I have to uh, go land because of my battery. It happens like that all the time. I know, it might be over here by this paddle water. So this is a preview of what I plan to do in the future. Uh, when conditions get good, when summer gets here, we're going to have clear water, or at least much better water than this, and we're going to be able to see sharks uh, when in peak season. When the sharks are here, I'll be able to show you some sharks live, and I want to do this live shark cam at least once a week, just so that you can see 
um, what the process is like and, and see maybe something incredible live as it happens. There's no delay in this. This is live right now. Going really fast and not finding anything. Go one more pass up here because this is where the shark was. The reason I'm covering this little area because sharks don't really... They, they tend to kind of just go in a circle, kind of zigzag in an area they like before they leave. So that's why the, well, this shark was making those circles earlier, so that's why I'm here. Board is still there. And it looks like the shark did not reappear. It's going to be time for me to go back and have to change batteries. Um, there's a bait ball right here, big bait ball. See that? But uh, we it looks like we only got the great white shark early in the, in the shot and it wasn't doing too much. It interacted with that bird. 